Right now, there are many different barriers that prevent individuals from getting involved in markets. Some of that is knowledge-based, some of it is structural. We feel to have representation among all segments of the global population, the ability to invest in markets as a way to grow and preserve wealth, it should be a fundamental right. Democratization is very simple. It is about retail investors engaging with capital markets. We need to make sure that democratization in the capital markets comes with some kind of a framework to allow proper access, proper transparency, and proper education. With rapid advances in technology and lower minimums, it's really lifted the barriers to being able to get started in investing. We believe that the empowered investor is the future of responsible investing. The empowered investor has, first of all, access to and knowledge of the products and services and channels open to them. So they not only need access to those products and services, but they need to be in a broad set of markets, public and private markets. They need to have access to advice and the new tools available to them, and they need to be able to have a holistic view of both the short and long term. The more information you have, the better decisions you can make about your own financial well-being and portfolio. Talent and intellect are equally distributed. Opportunity is not, and it's incumbent upon all of us in our own ways to work to not only bridge, but close that gap. And the greatest way to do that is providing education and education around financial literacy early and often. We should start at a very early and elementary level by teaching students the basics of accounting, the basics of saving, the basics of investing, what it means to start a company and how those companies play a role not only in their local, regional, or national, and in some cases, global economy. I think the biggest risk or concern that people have about investing is that it's a rigged game. Ultimately, the biggest thing we get wrong is actually the biggest thing that we're addressing, which is, is this market fundamentally fair to all who participate? For a retail investor to trust financial markets, they ultimately have to believe that they have a right to ownership of what society is progressing. And I think that's a very important fundamental value that we'd like people to believe and for them to trust us with. The current environment is really changing the way quite a lot of the retail investors are thinking about the market. All that will create some new uncertainty that some of our retail investors haven't been used to and do not necessarily know how to address in the different products they've invested. And for us, as market operators or a part of the ecosystem, our duty is to make sure that all those retail investors continue to trust the system there is full transparency and that we continue to educate everyone so that they are not worried about some of the short-term hiccups in their stock performance or in some of their investment, but that they continue to view their investment and their engagement with the capital markets with a medium to long-term view. If you have a combination of those pieces, as an individual, you're well situated to handle your financial resources and be an empowered investor and take that financial destiny into your own hands in a very constructive manner. Having that access is a positive phenomenon and it's something that the industry should get behind and support in order to maintain and to grow it into the future because again, it does tie into people's livelihoods and their ability to manage their own finances and be empowered investors.